Renault Megan a Sport Tourer Review. Our rating. 4 star. The new Renault Megan a Sport Tourer estate is practical, stylish, and good to drive. 4. Roomy, refined, low running costs. Against. Not as spacious as some rivals, loses value quickly. Renault's latest Megana made a winning debut in hatch form, so the pressure is on for this practical sport tourer. Featuring the same engines and trims as the standard car, the spacious newcomer certainly has all the right ingredients. By adding a roomy and versatile estate body steel, Renault has further broadened the Megana's already impressive appeal. Handsome, roomy, refined, well-equipped and cheap to run, it's a fine alternative to more fashionable crossovers and other estate cars alike. It's also supremely comfortable with class-leading refinement. As with the hatch, Dynamic and Dynamic S models with the 1.5 DCI diesel are the pick of the bunch. Our choice. Renault Megane Sport Tourer Dynamic NAV 1.5 DCI 110. In a logical world, estate cars would reign supreme. Mixing a standard hatch's comfort, handling and running costs with plenty of extra space, they should be the kings of the family runaround sector. Yet the recent glut of trendy subs and crossovers has left these traditional load carriers in the shade. Renault is hoping to reverse that trend with its new Megane Sport Tourer. Based on the desirable five-door model, it's turned on the style in an effort to prove that you can buy a sensible estate with your heart as well as your head. There are six trim levels to choose from on the latest Megane Sport Tourer, Expression Plus, Dynamic NAV, Dynamic SNAV, Signature NAV, GT Line, and GT. The Frugal 1.5 liter DCI is available in all versions apart from the GT. The Expression and gets essentials such as aircon, cruise control and Bluetooth, and with Renault Selection's PCP plan a 1.5 DCI will cost you £275 per month. This figure is based on a 3-year deal with a 10,000 mile annual limit, a £2,500 deposit, and a £2,000 dealer contribution. However, for an extra £31 per month you can get the keys to a Dynamic, which adds climate control, keyless entry, and parking sensors. A Dynamic SNAV will set you back another £22 monthly, while a Signature and GT line will cost £356 and £340 per month respectively. Engines include our favorite 1.5-liter DCI 110 diesel as well as a more powerful 1.6-liter DCI 130. Petrol options include the small but punchy 1.2 liter TCE 130 and the more powerful 1.6 liter TCE 205, which is reserved for GT NAV models only. There's a dual clutch EDC automatic gearbox available on the TCE 130 and DCI 110 engines, but the DCI 130 is manual only. The GT model is the opposite only available with the dual clutch box. Engines, Performance, and Drive 4 Star The Megane Sport Tourer drives very much like the Renault Megane hatch, and that's good. Despite its racy sounding name, the Megane Sport Tourer's driving dynamics are geared towards comfort and refinement rather than out-and-out -out excitement. This feeling is underlined by the core 1.5-liter DCI diesel engine, which has a modest 108 bhp and 250 nm of torque. It's a smooth and unobtrusive power plant, but it needs 11.3 seconds to do the 0 to 62 miles per hour sprint. Thanks to the Renault's well-chosen gear ratios, though, it put on a stronger display during our in-gear tests, and it feels like it has plenty of power on the road. And while it doesn't feel as punchy as the engine in the rival Vauxhall Astra Sports Tourer, the Megane responds eagerly enough and rarely feels as underpowered as its on-paper figures suggest. The emphasis on comfort is underlined by the car's soft and supple suspension. Severe potholes can send a shudder through the cabin, 
but for most of the time the Renault effortlessly soaks up bumps. It's quiet inside as well, keeping wind and road noise low in the cabin. Of course, the price you pay for this comfort is less assured handling than you get from the Vauxhall Astra or Ford Focus Estates. The Renault steering is quick and well weighted, plus there's a decent amount of grip, but the car suffers more roll through bends and the suspension setup doesn't control body movement quite as effectively. The six-speed manual isn't as slick as the units in the seat Leon ST or Skoda Octavia Estate, but it's not unpleasant to use and is worth going for over the dual clutch automatic for the money you'll save. Engines The petrol options for the Megane Estate are a 1.2 liter 3 cylinder unit with 128 bhp or a 1.6 liter 4 cylinder with 202 bhp, the latter only available with an automatic gearbox in GTNAV trim. The more powerful engine has 280nm of torque and takes the car from 0 to 62 miles per hour in a lively 7.4 seconds. Most buyers will choose either of the four-cylinder diesels on offer, there's the 1.5-liter DCI 110 or the 1.6-liter DCI 130. The 110 would be our pick, as it's cheaper and more efficient while still having plenty of performance. MPG CO2 and running costs. 4.5 star. The Megan's diesels offer high MPG and decent performance at the same time. To keep running costs low, go for one of the Renault Megan Sport Tourer's diesel engines. The most economical is the DCI 110, which returns 76.4 MPG and emits just 96 g km of CO2. With the dual clutch auto, those figures change to 74.3 mpg and 98 g slash km respectively. The DCI 130 is a 1.6 liter unit that's manual only and returns a still impressive 70.6 mpg and 104 g slash km of CO2. Stop start is standard on all manual models, which helps keep running costs and emissions down. The petrol versions are, as you'd expect, not as frugal, but with economy of 52.3 mpg and emissions of 120 g slash km of CO2, the 1.2 liter TCE engine is still worth a look. The only difference for EDC models is CO2 of 122 g slash km, as well. The most expensive engine to buy as well as run is the TCE 205, available in GTNAV models, it's the most powerful, but only manages 47.1 mpg and 134 g slash km of CO2. With a big rating of 23 percent or it'll cost the most for company car buyers as well. The lowest big rating in the range is 19 percent or which is the DCI 110 version. Insurance Groups The cheapest Renault Megane Sport Tourer to insure is the TCE 130, which sits in Group 14E, although the DCI 110 model is a close second as it's in Group 15E. The more powerful DCI 130 diesel sits in Group 190E, and finally the 202 BHP TCE 205 tops the range in Group 270. Depreciation While the car's predicted residuals of 36.7% are nothing to write home about, our figures suggest it'll hold more of its value than an equivalent Vauxhall Astra Sports Tourer or Peugeot 308 SW. Interior, Design, and Technology 4.3 Star Stylish and sensible at the same time, the Megane Sport Tourer offers a great family car combination. The standard 5-door Megane is one of the most stylish compact hatches you can buy so it's no surprise to find this design flair has been carried over to the Sport Tourer. By extending the wheelbase by 43mm and the length by 267mm, Renault's designers have seamlessly grafted on an estate rear end without spoiling the car's proportions. Underneath the Sport Tourer's sleek lines is the same Renault Nissan Alliance CMFCD platform that underpins everything from Renault's larger scenic MPV to the Nissan X-Trail SUV. It's light and strong, and features a simple layout of strut suspension at the front and torsion beam at the rear. Climb aboard and you'll discover the car feels remarkably upmarket.
The wraparound dash is clearly laid out, and features classy TFT dials and Reynolds portrait style R-Link infotainment. High quality materials are used throughout, and the fit and finish are easily a match for the Vauxhall Astras and Peugeot 308S. There's also plenty of equipment, with mid-spec Dynamic SNAV featuring SAT NAV, climate control, Bluetooth and ambient cabin lighting. SAT NAV, stereo and infotainment. Touchscreen infotainment is available on the Megana Dynamic model, but only Dynamic SNAV versions and above get the portrait style 8.7 inch R Link 2 setup. Crisp graphics, user friendly menus, and a responsive screen that includes a pinch and swipe function are big pluses even on the standard setup. As with rival systems, the screen features a number of tabs that work as shortcuts to the main functions, but on the Renault these are larger and easier to navigate. Connecting your phone is simple, as is programming a destination into the NAV although we found the TomTom -tom powered unit occasionally missed crucial jams. The R-Link 2 system features a 12-month subscription to the R-Link store, which has a variety of free and paid-for apps, from weather updates and Michelin guides to email and social media. However, there's no Apple CarPlay or Android Auto option. Practicality, Comfort, and Boot Space 4.5 Star It's not the biggest estate around, but the Sport Tourer is still spacious. Inside the Renault you'll discover large door bins, a lidded compartment between the front seats and a handy tray ahead of the gear lever. However, the glove box has to share space with the fuses and so it's smaller than on the car's left-hand drive versions. While the Renault isn't as big inside as some of its rivals, the difference is small enough to make little difference to most buyers, and the Renault does have styling on its side as well. Size at 4.63 m long, 1.46 m high and 1.84 m wide, the Megana Sport Tourer is slightly smaller than a Vauxhall Astra Estate, though the Vauxhall is thinner. Leg room, headroom and passenger space. There's plenty of space up front, and with 216 mm of knee room in the second row the Megana Sport Tourer has plenty of space for a family. Even adults won't have trouble sitting in the back, as there's just as much headroom back there as its main rivals. Boot The Renault Megana Sport Tourer falls between the Vauxhall Astra Sports Tourer and Peugeot 308 SW for outright space. For instance, the Megana's luggage area will swallow 580 liters, which is 40 liters more than the Astra's but 80 liters down on the 308S. Lower the rear bench using the levers in the boot and you liberate a handy 1,695 liters of load capacity. Once again, this is 80 liters shy of the Peugeot's maximum, but what the Renault lacks in volume it makes up for with versatility. For example, the boot floor features a handy pop-up load divider, plus it lifts to reveal a deep hidden storage area. There are also deep cubbies set into the boot sides, multiple shopping bag hooks and a 1-2V power supply. Reliability and safety. 4.7 star. Strong results in our driver power survey show Renault owners are generally happy. This is one area where Renault has come on leaps and bounds in the past few years. With its improved products and customer service, the brand has clawed its way up our driver power satisfaction survey, finishing in a strong 8th place in 2016. However, even this seems like an underachievement when you consider the maker's garages top the dealer charts in the same poll, ahead of premium brands such as Lexus. There's more good news when it comes to safety, because the Megana was handed a 5-star rating by Euro NCAP. All versions get 6 airbags and stability control, while dynamic models and above add lane departure warning and traffic sign recognition. Warranty and servicing. Renault offers a 4-year slash 100,000 mile warranty, as well as a prepaid servicing pack that covers 3 years of maintenance for a mere 299 pounds. That compares well with the standard 3-year warranty found on most of the Megana's rivals.